Hey everyone, Eric Nelson here once again, and thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel. For today, I will be doing a book review on Johnny Wortham's The Trizel. Now, for those of you who haven't seen my other book reviews, here's why I have a copy of the book cover on a piece of paper. I'm still learning the technology on how to upload images through my webcam, and believe me, I, I am getting there. But until then, I'm still resorting to uh, this method. So, anyways, back to the book. Uh, and actually, um, let, me, uh, let me begin by saying, uh, don't let the uh, cover uh, fool you. It is a great cover. However, th this is not a great story. It's, I, I can't even describe the uh, word actually, it's a masterpiece. Okay, so let's just uh, call it that. It's a masterpiece. If you're a fan of Stephen King, now I know that that's, I know you've heard that many times, uh, not just from me, but from other, uh, but from other people who review books. Like if you're a Stephen King fan, you'll love this, or if you're a Tim Burton fan, or if you're if you're um, an a an Acre Allen Poe fan, you'll like this. I know you've heard that many times, but but believe me, if you are a fan, which a lot of people are, if you're into literature, if you're a fan of any of those authors, this book is for you. Uh, Johnny Warthin's Be a, uh, Be a Trizel is for you. Please, you must read this if you. You know, I know that, you know, Stephen King is still writing. However, this, I mean, when, when I when I read the, the, this book, I kind of got the feel of the old time Stephen King. And, and what I mean by that is how, like, back in the 70s and 80s, he was uh, just at the height of his popularity. And that, I really, whenever someone is at the height of their popularity, they're their real talent shines uh, through, and as the time goes on, they develop more writing skills, and then, and 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 when that happens, well, whether it's the, or whether it's for the good or for the uh, or for the bad, they tend to uh, steer away from their old self. Well, this is the old Stephen King. This is the beginning Stephen King. <laughs> I know that's a weird word, but it. Um, but it is a fact. So anyway, you know. So anyway, uh, let me uh, dive right into the book. It centers around uh, this one man, uh, Julian uh, Cormac, who has uh, who 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 has actually just been re released from the psych ward, not just because he's a little nuts, but because. He actually went through episodes of demonic possession, and even though he's technically, well, what's the word, unpossessed, or he survived the possession, I, I, I always kind of sensed that as I was reading, you know, after he was released, I always sensed that he always he that he still had a couple of spirits in him because he always seemed a little off. Now, you can say that that was part of the effects of possession, uh, but still, I think that in the world of fiction or even a reality in some sense, if you've ever been possessed, it still kind of lingers in you. So anyway, after he's released from the psych ward, a lot of his uh, friends and family and even uh, random people uh, begin to die. You know, well, people mainly close to him begin to uh, to uh, die and as all these murders uh, become more and more connected with uh, uh, Julian his uh, quote unquote uh, creation comes up who is actually the uh, title character the uh, uh, Trizel who was actually a demon that he was a uh, creating and who was the result of him becoming uh, possessed so now now of course because he's um, 
unpossessed or he survived the possession. He actually does want to help uh, get rid of all the murders and he wants to help uh, pre prevent any murders from happening. But since he's still, at least in my sense, since he's still a little possessed, you know, can he actually help or will he actually do more wrong? Well, that's up to you, the reader, to read. So, and believe me, it's not homework. It's pure entertainment. You know, you have to get this book. As I said, if you're into Stephen King, I know I, and I, and I know I said that I know you've heard that many times with other books, but this is the real, true Stephen King. And once again, the author's name is, uh, is uh, Johnny Warty. You know, you can follow him on the Twitter or Facebook. And of course, you can get his uh, book on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, or hopefully at any other major uh, bookstore. So I hope you guys uh, get this book, and I and I hope to see you all at the uh, at the bookstore or the iBookstore.